Dvaita Vedanta, Sanskrit, Dvaita Vedanta is a sub-school in the Vedanta tradition of Hindu philosophy. Alternatively known as Bhedavada, Tattvavada and Bhimbapratibhambavada, Dvaita Vedanta sub-school was founded by the 13th century scholar Madhvacharya. The Dvaita Vedanta school believes that God Vishnu, Supreme Soul, and the individual souls Javatman exist as independent realities, and these are distinct. The Dvaita school contrasts with the other two major sub-schools of Vedanta, the Advaita Vedanta of Adi Shankara which posits non-dualism, that ultimate reality Brahman and human soul are identical and all reality is interconnected oneness, and Vishishtadvaita of Ramanuja which posits qualified non-dualism, that ultimate reality Brahman and human soul are different but with the potential to be identical. Dvaita, Dvaita is a Sanskrit word that means duality, dualism. The term refers to any premise, particularly in theology on the temporal and the divine, where two principles truths, or realities are posited to exist simultaneously and independently. Philosophy <inaudible> 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 Dvaita Vedanta is a dualistic interpretation of the Vedas, espouses dualism by theorizing the existence of two separate realities. The first and the only independent reality Svatantra Tattva, states the Dvaita school, is that of Vishnu as Brahman. Vishnu is the supreme self, in a manner similar to monotheistic god in other major religions. The second reality is that of dependent Asvetantra Tattva, but equally real universe that exists with its own separate essence. Everything that is composed of the second reality, such as individual soul, matter, and the like exist with their own separate reality. The distinguishing factor of this philosophy, as opposed to monistic Advaita Vedanta, is that God takes on a personal role and is seen as a real eternal entity that governs and controls the universe. Like Ramanuja, Madhvacharya also embraced Vaishnavism. Madhvacharya posits God as being personal and saguna, that is endowed with attributes and qualities. To Madhvacharya, the metaphysical concept of Brahman in the Vedas was Vishnu. He stated, Brahmasabdaska Visnaveva, that Brahman can only refer to Vishnu. To him, Vishnu was not just any other Deva, but rather the one and only supreme being. Dvaita Vedanta acknowledges two principles, however, it holds one of them the sentient, as being eternally dependent on the other. The individual souls are depicted as reflections, images, or shadows of the divine, but never in any way identical with the divine. Moksha liberation, therefore is described as the realization that all finite reality is essentially dependent on the Supreme. Five fundamental, eternal and real differences are described in Dvaita school. Between the individual souls or Javatman and God Brahmatmasvara or Vishnu. Between matter inanimate, insentient and God. Between individual souls Javatman. Between matter and Javatman. Between various types of matter, these five differences are said to explain the nature of the universe. The world is called prapansa pansa five, by the Dvaita school for this reason. Madhva differed significantly from traditional Hindu beliefs owing to his concept of eternal damnation. For example, he divides souls into three classes. One class of souls, mukti yogyas, qualifies for liberation, another, the nitya samsorans, subject to eternal rebirth or eternal transmigration and a third class, tamo yogyas, who are condemned to eternal hell and hatamasa. No other Hindu philosopher or school of Hinduism holds such beliefs. In contrast, most Hindus believe in universal salvation, that all souls will eventually obtain moksha, even if after millions of rebirths. Influence Dvaita Vedanta and Madhvacharya's historical influence in Hinduism, state Kulandran and Kremer, has been salutary, but not extensive. According to Sharma, the influence of Dvaita Vedanta ideas have been most prominent on the Chaitanya school of Bengal Vaishnavism, and in Assam. 
Madhva's theology influenced later scholars such as Nimbarka, Vallabha Acharya and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. BNK Sharma notes that Nimbarka's theology is a loose ratio of Madhva's in its most essential aspects. Dvaita Vedanta's discussion of the eternal differences and the gradation between the concept of God, human beings and the observed nature led some early colonial-era Indologists such as George Abraham Grierson to suggest that its founder, the 13th-century Madhva was influenced by Christianity, but later scholars rejected this theory. Topic. See also Madhvacharya Madhva Brahmins Dvaita literature <laughs>